Welcome back and on this lesson we're going to create something uh, interesting, something what's really working. It will be simple web server, but it will be working web server. So le let's get started. Make new folder, it will be lab2. Let's create new file, main.tf. I will put some few lines. This is what we're going to create. Build server during bootstrap provider AWS in which region we want to create this web server let's configure it here it will be Canada central one okay next we need to create a AWS a instance resource AWS instance and we'll call it in our terraform it will be web instance Okay, two things, AMI equal, and what is AMI ID? Let's get to our console, switch to I'm in Canada Central, EC2, instances, launch instance. We just need to get the AMI ID from, yeah, let's use Amazon Linux too. So this is AMI ID. Just, oh, come on, copy can cancel it and let's paste it here just delete spaces right and we can add comments here it's Amazon Linux 2 right and second thing we need to configure is instance type instance basically size of the uh, instance let's make it t3 micro save it yeah looks nice all right uh, and other things we, which we need to add right now, because we want to install our web server, Apache web server, and configure our, our web page during the bootstrapping process. Bootstrapping basically the initial uh, provisioning of the uh, server. So we need to configure user data equal, and because we, here basically it's shell script. Uh, I don't know, for example, yum install uh, HTTPD something like this my minus y yeah but we have a best script multiple lines so we'll configure something with a different way we'll configure it like this equal equal a end of file here on the first uh, first we configure end of file and everything between will be basically our script and just let's start writing our script it will be bin bash and yum xy big Okay, this is our script basically. So bin bash because it's bash script. First we update repository, we install httpd, we save uh, from metadata of the EC2 instance the local IP address into the variable called my IP, and we create file basically so our web page uh, index HTML on this path uh, with just one line uh, basically. Yeah, it's web server with private IP. We're placing here the value of our variable a new new uh, line built by terraform uh, we're starting httpd server and also we enabling this service to a uh, start on the boot uh, after a reboot of the server okay let's add also tags yeah tags it's best practices to add always in aws name called web server build by 
form oh no oh. save it okay nice okay great uh, another thing we need to uh, this is a EC2 instance our EC2 instance with the installed web server but we need also allow incoming traffic to get to this EC2 instance so we need to open port 80 and port 443 uh, in order to do it we just need to create AWS security group and attach the security group to this EC2 instance so new resource we can go to the uh, uh, Terraform documentation to see how to create but stay with me <laughs> yeah it's really simple easy i will show you we're creating another resource called aws security group and how we will call uh, the security group here in our uh, code uh, web security group yeah will be okay next name of the security group name will be web server uh, sg something like this yeah description a uh, description it's just optional you can just yeah ignore it you don't you don't need it but yeah let's add security group for my web server okay looks good okay and now we need to allow port incoming and outcoming ingress and egress rule basically we need to add so first in grass and there is the block you see block with four parameters from port equal num number of the port port 80 to port to, to which port if for example if you want need to open a few ports like sequence you know like 80 81 82 84 or 83 like yeah so just put it here for example yeah and it will op open open will open port from two but because we are going to open only one port uh, 80 and 4 for free like uh, separate and not between them so just type two port the same in port number protocol which protocol it's tcp protocol and the last thing it's cider blocks you can uh, list uh, basically set up list of the cider blocks which you allow uh, port 80 to come with traffic uh, i want to allow it to the whole internet so it's only one port uh, one cider block basically and this is a cider block so save it nice okay we need else to do the same basically create same block with port 443 so you know make it easy copy paste change it for for free for free done that's all and the last thing we need to e create its egress role and allow all ports on all protocols so it's egress rule it's also block from port equal zero to port equal zero that means all ports this means all ports all protocol it's minus one and the cider blocks cider blocks will be list of the side block basically it's the same list of one that's oh yeah if you for example want to open ingress rule like for all so just uh, for all ports all protocol just zero zero minus uh, one same uh, looks good uh, you know let's add also tags this tags it's you know copy paste tags from here don't work hard let's put them here and it's not observer sg by terraform yeah it was web a web server build this is web server sg by terraform uh, all right that's so basically we have two separate resources we're creating one resource called ec2 instance and the second one aws resource group but we need to merge them basically to make this ec2 to use this uh, security group so there is another parameter uh, you can edit somewhere here doesn't matter where basically uh, which called vpc security group id so we can add list of the security groups and because we need to add only one how are we gonna reference the security group from our code just as you see just copy this paste it here dot so basically AWS security group we want to add which security group it's web because it's web maybe we can uh, have you know many security groups in our code 
dot id that's all save it yeah it will align it nicely that's all this is uh, the, we're done yeah this is uh, all code and right now we create a dependency so terraform when we'll execute terraform it goes through the all file it will see the dependency and you will see okay this is to instance depend on the security group so I, to get this idea i need first to create the security group it will create the security group it will get uh, some attributes which will expose and get some attributes and we'll put the attributes uh, called id here and that's it so let's execute this and see what's happened basically that's all this is the whole code should work as a charm let's test it out test it out okay lab 2 terraform init good and terraform and let's execute apply okay it's gonna create two resources first is let's just double check edible instance web with these parameters say where is the vpc security group by the way security group known after apply okay and this is the AWS security group web id will be known after apply you see all our rules basically okay let's type yes and just wait as you see it's creating first security group and only after security group will be created it will start creating aws instance we can go to console and check what's happening here This is our web server. If we go to security group, you shall see here by Terraform. This is our security group. Let's see the rules. Port 80, port 443, source. We can basically, uh, by the way, add description. Out outbound rules. Yeah, looks good. Our web server. Oh, it's created already. So let's get the IP address. Where is IP? This is a public IP, but we shall see it here. Here is IP address. Maybe we can try to open it. Maybe it's still not working because you know update. It's just taking a while. Oh, it's already working. Web server with a private IP. Bill by from Yeah, looks like our web server is working and it's internet. Uh, what I wanted to do, just you know, some simple change in our security group. Let's add description here. It will be nice. Let's come back here. It will not. It will not require to recreate the uh, resource. So it's description. And let's add. HTTPS and let's add description over here all ports yeah we'll just add in the description let's execute this okay it's going to uh, change one resource it's uh, our security group and it's going to make few changes inside let's type yes all right it's done let's check it it's our security group and you see we just added the description nice allow reports yeah it's like more much better and we have our web server working perfect and uh, we'll see you on the next lecture bye bye